Good morning, champions. Today is Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Please stand, face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic, which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, students, good morning. Parents, good morning. Hope everybody had a great evening. So NWEA testing is basically wrapped up at this point. Um, we do have a couple of people that have some makeups to do. Uh, we'll reach out to you, uh, but the bulk of everything should be just about done. So kudos to you students. We definitely appreciate you guys coming in. We appreciate you taking the test seriously and working hard on it. I saw a lot of good scores, uh, which I was pretty happy with. Uh, so what do we do with all this data? Um, we take it all, we put every student's individual name on the magnet, we put your score in that magnet, and we start breaking this up. So we have the entire school so that we know who is at what level and who needs what support. Uh, so that's students, that's what we do with this data. We will take this test again um, after Christmas and again before the end of the year. So be looking forward to that. Uh, also, eighth graders, don't forget, we do have to bring you in for the PSATs. Uh, that's in about two weeks or so. We will use a very similar situation to the way we did here. Bus riders in the morning, car riders in the afternoon. Uh, so eighth graders, be aware of that. So what do we have today? Let's see here. Just a couple of reminders. Life is going back to normal with the Google Meets. Remember that expectation. Be on time to class, be in the class the entire time. Make sure we're doing our work. I went through a lot of these grade books with, with the teachers, students, and it's pretty evident as I'm going through assignment by assignment. If you're doing the work, grades are good. If you're not doing the work, grades are bad. It's really that easy, students. Help us out, get your work done. If you have questions, ask. Uh, we're gonna put a couple of wrinkles in here, students, to support you here coming end of this week into next week. Um, you know, if, if we ask you to be here at this time, make sure we're there. We're trying to support you guys. So see that that happens. Find a quiet spot to work. Be prepared. Make sure your computer is charged. Mute yourself. Chat responsibly. Participation is expected. Wear appropriate clothes, which I think today is PJ day. We'll get to that in a minute. And students, make sure that you show your face. Got a couple champion moments. Uh, Trinity Hunter and Gabriel Homan help students with their do now. Thank you very much. And this one, uh, it's a little longer, but it's a good one. Um, thank you all for helping me with technology, training, listening, encouragement, and support. And the teachers that helped, so our teacher was to get to in a second, is Ms. Brown, Mr. Byerly, Ms. Cuevas, Mr. Curry, Ms. Dance, Mr. Dillon, Ms. Estrada, Ms. Flores, Ms. Goodman, Ms. Gusman, Ms. Hogan, Ms. K, Ms. Protho Guider, Ms. Seleski, Mr. Vondrak, Ms. Lark, Ms. McKnight, Mr. Smith, and myself. Um, and you have all inspired me to be a great teacher in some way. Never would have made it this far without you. Um, so, champion moment to all those people from Mrs. Daniels. So, Mrs. Daniel, thank you very much for that. Um, you know, we want to encourage that. Students, you know, we talked before. If you have a champion moment for a teacher, let me know. Send me an email and I'll put it on here. Um, we like to keep that going. We like to recognize those that are doing the right thing. You know, that definition of a champion, doing the right thing when no one is looking, helping someone out when you don't have to, right? To me, that's being a champion. So thank you to all those parents, students, teachers that are doing that. Remember our goal this month is learning's up to you. Meet your teacher's expectations, challenge yourself to succeed, manage your time, ask for help and believe in yourself. There it is working on this is agency rubric right this is 20 percent of your grade students agency is 20 percent of your grade so it is important that you are able to reach these goals on monday we talked about using effort and practice to grow yesterday we talked about seeking challenges do you go out and say hey i'm not very good at this let me get better at it today growing from setbacks Okay, I'm gonna try not to, to ramble on because I got a lot to say about this one. Growing from setbacks. And those of you that haven't heard, there's four levels of this, right? The emerging, 
developing, proficient, and advanced. Advanced is the highest level, obviously. Emerging is the lowest. I always like to read the proficient. That's where we want you guys to be. Identifies challenges or failures and describes reactions to them. For example, gives up or tries harder. You know, I'm just going to set that down for a second because teachers, students in life, we're going to fail and we're going to succeed. You know, and this one here, growing from setbacks. Do you see failure as something that you can't recover from? Failure is just, it's a tiny setback, but you have to grow from it. You, you can't be stuck in that. We are all going to fail. I fail as a principal. It happens. But you have to be able to grow from that failure. That is what makes you a champion, is growing from that failure. All right, so that's the agency tip here that we have, growing from setbacks, having that growth mindset. We use that also. All right, so that's your tip for today. And Wednesday, which is today, today is PJ day. I'll make sure it's school appropriate. Uh, the first robotics meeting will be Thursday from 3.15 to 4.15. Um, and that is in person, that is in room 107. All right, contact Ms. Phelan if you have any questions. So be aware of that. That's just kind of like, you know, an athletic event or anything else. Um, so robotics, Ms. Phelan's 315 to 415 on this Thursday. And just a reminder, the assignments are due Friday. Students, a reminder that you can dress up for Halloween on Friday. Um, that is a e-learning day. So you will have advisory. And we'll check in fourth and seventh period with you. Uh, we know this is Red Ribbon Week. That's why we have the PJ Day today. Also remember, in honor of Red Ribbon Week, if you have a poster, those posters are due to the office by Friday so we can judge them and give out some certificates, um, some gift cards to kids. So we're excited about that. National Junior Honor Society, please make sure you look at the page for new updates. And some sports announcements here. I'm going higher. Um, second round of basketball tryouts will be this Thursday. Fifth and sixth graders will start at 3.30 to 4.30. Seventh and eighth graders, 4.40 to 5.40. And remember, those students coming in for practice, I need you guys here at 3.30, not 3 o'clock. Uh, we're starting to have people show up earlier and earlier. Um, there's no one. The coaches aren't here yet. So make sure we're here at 3.30, okay? Uh, cheerleading your second round of tryouts will be on Tuesday, which was yesterday, and today, which is Wednesday, uh, from 4 to 5.30. Make sure all these athletes turn out. You have to have a physical on file. Okay, that is important. Also, remember that your Explore class should be linked into your Echo page. If it's not showing up there, let your advisory teacher know. Advisory teachers, take a second out today. Make sure all kids have their Explorer class. And if they don't, um, email Mr. Smith, Ms. McKnight, and myself, and we will figure out where they are supposed to be. All right. I, I miss you guys. It was really good to see everyone over um, NWEA testing. It was really good to see you guys. So stay safe. If you need anything from me, let me know. Our mission statement at Lake Ridge is changing learning, changing lives, inspiring lifelong possibilities. Have a great day.